prior to placing the electrodes, you will need to wipe off the area with an alcohol pad. Then you will need to abrade the skin with a gauze pad. The black lead will go midway between the umbilicus and the xiphoid process as labeled on the electrode pad itself. The green pad will go mid-clavicular at the bottom rib, two inches below the bottom rib. The red pad will go mid-clavicular on the left side at the bottom rib, two inches below the bottom rib. I think that this is a good time for us to talk about the value of this new lead material. Perhaps most importantly are the changes that have been required because of the environment that we live in now caused by COVID. Infection control parameters have tightened up and so as a result we have decided to change our materials. The old system used disposable pads but reusable electrode lead wires. The new rules are anything that touches the patient's skin must be discardable as per current regulations. Also very important have been the changes in the gel technology. There have been volumes written about gel technology over the years. The old pads, like you see here, are a liquid gel pad. And you can tell it's a liquid gel pad because once you peel it off, there's a big spongy area like you can see here. And we can push on this and it's very wet. After about five minutes of contact with the skin of the body, the electrons are moving back and forth, allowing sensing across the wires for recording by the EGG system. That's facilitated by the wetness of the gel. In the new dry gel systems, you'll see that when you peel them off, you see that there's no liquid whatsoever. But the other advantage is we have a very large surface area, which increases the sensitivity of our being able to detect this very low frequency signal from the intestine and from the stomach. This necessitates leaving the pads on the body for an extra five minutes before beginning your recording. While that may be considered somewhat inconvenient, the advantages of the dry gel take us much farther. With the wet gel pads, artifact is very easy to detect, in particular motion artifact, which can often ruin a study. With the dry gel pads, we have eliminated artifact, and so the studies are more precise with less interference. The other advantage of the dry gel is that we get a thousand-fold increase in sensitivity. So the ability to sense things without artifact make this a very, very unique device, which is very stable and a great improvement. <laughs>